With over 76,000 kilometers of open road, over 10,000 kilometers of highway, the road less traveled is far and wide. Do something spontaneous, go have an adventure, do something you've never done before. But in my past experience, a little bit of planning goes a long way. Planning the route for a road trip actually serves an important purpose. It allows you to prepare for the driving time, choose where and when you will stop for fuel and food, and help you plan for contingencies. It looks like you got lost. I am easily distracted, but actually taking your advice, I wanted to make sure the car was ready for the task at hand. She's ready to hit the open road now. I've got to be prepared for the journey at hand. And with so much to explore in this country, it is easy to get taken off the beaten track. Why is it so vital to plan our routes properly before hitting the open road? That's very important. Like I mentioned in previous inserts, the holiday starts when you get in the vehicle, not when you arrive at your destination. Therefore, you plan your route to stop every 200 kilometers or every two hours. Make sure that the fatigue that you pick up during the trip has actually been worked away in that little short break that you take. So when planning my route, what are some of the dangers I need to be aware of? What are some of the, the, the elements that I need to be taking into account? First of all, sticking to main routes. I think that's the most important part because if you encounter maybe a mechanical failure or some issue on the road, there is roadside assistance that can assist you to get to your end destination on the end of the day. I suppose timing is vital. You don't want to be hitting, say, a Van Ruinen's Pass at dusk. Yeah, definitely, especially in the winter months because you've got a lot of mist uh, in, in that area. I'd rather start traveling when the sun is up so I've got clear visibility to where I'm going and seeing other road users on the road as well. So now I want to take a, a road less traveled. What do I need to take into account when hitting those backwater roads? I think adapting to the road that you're traveling on, very important. Because a lot of the back roads are some dirt roads that you're going to travel and also adapt on the surfaces that you're traveling on and also in the environment where you're traveling. You might encounter some, somebody's cattle or something, something straying over the, the road. You might hit it. Uh, resulting in an accident and ultimately somebody losing their life. Well, we've got a lot of adventure ahead of us, my friend. Should we hit the open road? Yes, let's Good. get going. Choosing the route less traveled does carry a romantic notion, but it's not the best idea if you have children along for the trip. However, if you do choose back roads, Bertus has some advice. Bear in mind that there's road works on back roads as well and keep to the speed limit because there's people working next to the road and we don't want to kill anybody due to something stupid that we are doing. Something important to remember as well, we're using a map here just to basically map out where we're going to stop every two hours. But if you've got a GPS, make sure that you've updated all the routes. It happened to me where I got in situations where they've worked on the roads, the roads have changed, and I don't have the right map to know where I'm going. So if you do use a, a GPS uh, for your long trip, make sure that it's up to date and uh, use it also for the speed limit. There is so much to take in. I think planning those hidden gems you're going to discover is half the fun of a road trip. But if you are going to take a short left and discover new roads, just make sure that you and your vehicle are prepared so you can focus on the important stuff, i.e. having one fun adventure. You're in control with Ferodo.